just late night doing my walk and you see these things all around Mauritius and dogs barking. The feeling is so home, you know, it's cozy. This is how I look when I work at Cafe Lux. That's my calendar, I'm planning my Mauritius stay and the videos I'm gonna take for you, so stay pumped. I'm gonna do good in Mauritius for you. I'm here to pick up my friend, but there is a leakage of my car. Water is coming out of it. But anyway, I'm near a beautiful river. As you can see, there is a beautiful river here. Just waiting for my friend, you know. So yeah, just came to see my friend and these dogs are so beautiful. Hi, say hello. Say hello. Going hiking. Look at the beautiful mountains on the roads. I'm wearing my Canadian hat as you can see. It's nice. So we are going hiking and this is the entrance to Lamorne. So that's it, this is the entrance to the path of the trail, I think we go this way. Access to mountain, yeah. Look how beautiful it is. This is a uh, guy just walking, he's not our guide, but yeah, we're gonna keep going up. So on our way to Le Monde, there are these fruits, I wanna try it, should I try it? It's so gorgeous. So apparently that's an underwater fall over there, there is a small island over there, it's so beautiful. Okay, so that's Le Monde, as you can see there. Are we gonna go all the way up? No, we're not. <laughs> and that's the beautiful mountain this side. And yeah, it's so gorgeous guys. I'm so happy. Look at me with this view of island. It's so gorgeous. You should come to Le Monde and hike because man, I made a prayer and it's gonna come true that everybody is gonna visit Le Monde one day, okay? It's a, such a such a good place. Look at the beauty we have in Mauritius. It's not many people get to, to see things like this, you know? And today marks my day that I learned tolerance, you know? I wanna be the most tolerant person that I could possibly be, you know? It's very important to be the best version of yourself. So yeah, that's it. So that's it. I made it to the furthest, no, not the furthest, but one of the furthest places you could get in Le Morne to get this beauty. That's it, I made it further and that's it. I have a little bit more to go with my hat on. I bought this in Canada for like 45 Canadian dollars or more. But yeah, this is me hiking. So that's it, I'm going down as you can see. And yeah, that's the view. Look at that island behind me. Look at the sunset with the cloud and then there is a sun happening. And this is after the hiking. We made it to Flick and Flack. As you can see, people are dancing over there. Mauritian dance. Listening to music and going to the to the beach. I'm going to Grand Bay Beach. Oh yeah. You know, I faced racism at uh, Point Destiny Beach. It was really bad. Now that I think about it, it mentally fucked me up. You know, like. Um, Sorry, I uh, shouldn't say fuck me up, but it really did fuck me up. Uh, so like, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this problem when I get old, because I was treated like crap at the beach by a white French dude. Okay, I trained that. I tell, I told you this before in my previous channel um, in Mauritius. But you know, like, I'm trying to get over it. So I'm gonna do research on white supremacy and black supremacy if we even exist. Let's see what I can find out in Mauritius. So I'm here six months. Let's see if I face racism at all or if I feel racism. Just parked my car over here and I am at the beach. I'm gonna take you to the actual beach actually. Let me talk a little about white supremacy in Mauritius. Like some of these white people, some of them, I don't wanna say all, they are messed up in the head, you know? Like they think they are rich and they have control over the brown and black people, especially the black, like me, as a brown man, you know, I'm brown, absolutely brown, but I'm a superior brown man, you know, like I'm educated more than basically all of the white people here. Like no one has the education I got and no one basically has money like I got. Like, well, some white people do have the money though, but like I'm the top 1% basically, okay? So I'm the top 1%, if not the top 1% of the 1%. And uh, I'm in Mauritius uh, fighting white supremacy, okay? It's gonna be interesting because you know, like Mauritius, uh, the most of the population are brown like and we were all slaves at some point so in the future I don't know how 
it's gonna be because Mauritians are becoming rich really fast, you know? Um, yeah, so here I'm gonna get an ice cream actually. Getting this ice cream, as you can see, the guys work off this beautiful ice cream for 40 rupees, guys. Mm, so good. The temperature is pretty good, and so many locals actually. So many locals. That's Prairie Bear Beach. I see some interracial couple. I love it when um, a white girl is with a black dude. It's so fucking sexy. So this is how I look when I come to the beach, as you can see. I'm still a little fat, but it's okay. I'll lose the weight, but yeah, that's how it looks. So just finished my stay at Prairie Beach or Pragabeya or something like that. Look at the birds here, so beautiful. Uh, you know what I have? I have Persian supremacy, okay? That's what I have, okay? That's like the highest level of supremacy that you could possibly have. It's just so hard to explain because it's so hidden. You know, like a Persian guy is supreme in so many levels. But like black people are sexually supreme and white people are money financially supreme, okay? And that's the truth. But Persian people will take over, you know? Like eventually the pyramid is gonna reverse, you know? Like it's just messed up. I'm gonna tell you why, because Persian people do not give up, especially Afghans, you know? Like Afghans and Persians are together in the end, you know? Like they don't, as much as we show that we don't like each other, we're in love. It's a very, very special relationship. So that's about Persian supremacy. I have achieved Persian supremacy in Mauritius, which is the highest level of supremacy. So this guy gets any woman that he wants, you know, like, it's just like every woman that passes by goes like, can I have your Persian uh, thing, you know? So anyway. More beautiful sunsets with the palm trees. It's just so Mauritius. The feeling is great, you know? It's just good to be Mauritian, man. Nami, my nigga. Said made it to my favorite coffee shop, and yeah, I'm working. <laughs>